We were ready to go. Raymarine, GPS, got water damage. You ready, homie? Go. Here we go. All right, so now we got to rally before the light goes down so we can make it to the river. And there's a reef we got to watch out for, so that's the plan. Yeah, we got a little electronics failure. That's the one of the things about modern day sailing is that you need this thing working, which is a chart plotter, which basically tells you everything about where the boat is from the depth of the water to the position to the charts to basically all you want to know for navigating. And right now we had some issues with this in Cartagena, fixed it up enough to get here. And now this thing is just toast, it's broken, it's gotten wet, it's glitching out. It's the nature of the game back out of here, make um, a turn that the wizard side doesn't really like much, which is a starboard turn in reverse, because the prop walk's pulling us left and we're trying to go right. We can release that front line, release this back line, pull out, and then just have, it'd be nice to have um, Andre and Jordan and T. Lee just ready to uh, fend off should we need it. Gnarlier parts of sailing, cruising around these marinas just because it, we're around so many expensive boats and if something goes wrong here and we end up sideways against a couple $500,000 boats that could end the trip pretty easily. Yeah, no pressure. It's uh, blowing about 15 knots and we're gonna try to back out of here. Yeah, we'll just get a little momentum going and uh, if anything happens, it'll happen out there. So <laughs> let's just go for it. entrance and it's sweet man we're in it now we're gonna go explore a river it'll be awesome watching all these snowy egrets and uh, blue herons fly around. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Osprey might be coming up to Montana this summer. Some kingfishers. It's a beautiful forest, man. Looking for this little cement pier, a little small one, which used to be a bridge, which means there's a old dilapidated road through the jungle. You take a little hike through the jungle. Grapefruits and pancakes with bananas and peanut butter for breakfast. Nom 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 nom. Here we go. Well, we 
We're going into the jungle. Taking care of the crew here, getting ready to go on a jungle walk. Got the machete sharpen? ready, dude. I got it on my fanny pack, dude. First ever machete fanny pack for me. Pretty exciting. <laughs> we'll have to let you know what the jungle has to offer as we go. We're looking for this tower. So far, we've not found a convincing trail. We found a really spiky tree. Really cool, Andre showed it to me. Amazing, amazing plants. Lots of traces of animals, but not seen one. Just cool with me, I mean, kinda. Depends on the animal. There is no purpose other than enjoyment. It's called recreation, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Recreational activities to recreate. Walk through the jungle, it's quite a thing. It feels pretty recreational to me. Checking in later. That way, Andre? Yeah, dude, I think so. If we go more that way, we are close to the river. I couldn't agree more. Get it. That's what we just did back, back to the original plan. It's better to be wandering around in circles in a group than by yourself. <laughs> right. Establish a trail or anything. If we don't find something soon, then we're not going to find it today, you know, because it's getting late. So, oh, thank God Danny brought his hand machete. Midtime. Boom. We're going deeper into the jungle. It makes me kind of uncomfortable. We're walking in circles in the jungle. We're back to where we were and we're looking for the dinghy and the river, but it all looks the same. These guys are real smart, but we walked in circles for three times. And so I'm trusting them because they're really adventurous dudes, but I think we should just bust out this compass thing again right here. Check it out. So, in my opinion, the boat is actually this way from when I left, I decided that to get back to the Wizard's Eye, we had to go 168 degrees south. You need to go. Bro, what? Go, 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 go. Found, found wasps. What happened, dude? Dude, we got attacked by these wasps and I had a machete in my hand and it stung me and I made this motion over to try to get rid of it and uh, swung my machete into my hand. Let's go back to that tree you and I found with the roots. That's the mark. Yeah, I think right. let's go back to right, the mark, dude. Back. Let's, let's yeah. try to find the mark. I've never been so yeah, excited yeah. to see your dinghy, man. That was... <laughs> so, so close, man. So Making close. I know the whole time, bro. Our own. So crazy, dude. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> dude. What can you say about the success of our mission? Oh, dude, I don't think this mission was successful, man. I w wished I wouldn't have just hacked a head machete into my hand, but oh, happy days, dude. Fellas, that was a pretty rugged mission. <laughs> so lost. <laughs> the funny part was like everybody know where to go, huh? That's the funny part. <laughs> Made it back to the wizard's eye, thank God. <laughs> Dude, okay, after this, we need to give it a minute for it to work. <laughs> Dude, just give me a second. I'm giving you a second, sorry. <laughs> Here to there, and there to there, and there to there. We should just fucking do it. Yeah, let's just do it, man. We already know. It won't hurt it. if it shrivels up and dries out. I'm gonna use the bigger coconut. Does this help if I like sort of thin down my shit? What do you need, man? I'll find that other sweeter. It doesn't matter. We got another one just like that. We should probably start on the end. Sorry. <laughs>
get this started. <laughs> you asked as he was like jamming his ass. Keep the long end. Hammer, <laughs> it's coming back to me. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully, nobody at home is watching this. Uh, this is not how you do it at home. Dude, the uh, boys just championed an epic few stitches here on my finger. Super stoked, it came together really, really well. And man, I'm just super grateful that I have some talented friends that are down to get down when you swing a machete into your hand, dude. <laughs> so I was having a sweet dream, sleeping in the aft cabin with T-Brot. Bill, good morning, there he is. Half of the morning, dude. <laughs> Danny wakes me up and says we gotta launch the drone because the light's sick. When he says the light's sick, then you gotta launch the drone. <laughs> 